also new at five, he ran a kennel in West Chicago meant to protect animals. Tonight, that operator faces animal cruelty charges. A fire killed more than two dozen dogs, but that was only the beginning. Prosecutors say many of the animals were injured, malnourished, and mistreated even before the fire. CBS 2 Cesar Rodriguez is live in Wheaton, and Cesar prosecutors outlined more than two dozen charges against this man. Erica, that's right. The DuPage State's Attorney, du DuPage County State's Attorney, described this case as inhumane and horrific. He even said that these animals were mistreated. These images show what was left of the kennel after a fire killed 29 dogs. The charges in this case allege that Garrett Mercado failed miserably. Kennel operator Garrett Mercado faces misdemeanor charges of animal cruelty and violation of owner's duties. Back in January, he told CBS2 he had tried saving the animals after he returned to the kennel and found the building on fire. I couldn't get to some of the crates, and when I would go to try to unlatch them, I was just burning myself. Authorities say Mercado was away from the business for about five hours when the fire broke out. It's just a, a piece of me that I can't get back, and... Physically, I'm okay, yeah, I mean, my wounds will heal, but... Mercado is accused of mistreating the dogs with some suffering punctured wounds, weight loss, and dehydration. It's also alleged the dogs were put in cages or crates too small for them. Some of these counts uh, relate to a dog named Coco who was tethered to a bar in the bathtub on the second floor of this structure. And during the fire, that tethering was so tight uh, that it was unlikely Coco would have been able to lay down, and if so, would not have been able to move. And Coco died uh, during the fire and was actually found underneath a pile of debris. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. The 29-year-old man was arrested last night and released this morning after paying a $5,000 bond. If found guilty, he could face one year in jail. We're live in Whedon, Cesar Rodriguez, CBS 2 News.